Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Uh, today I want to talk about caterpillars and butterflies. Uh, you've probably heard that caterpillars metamorphose into butterflies. Most extraordinary, caterpillars actually change from one type of organism into something completely different, which flies. Um, one thing that may surprise you is that the DNA, the deoxyribonucleic acid, the genetic code of a caterpillar is identical to the DNA of a butterfly. They're absolutely identical. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Let's just concentrate to start with on a caterpillar. Caterpillars, um, they have lots of little, little legs and they move, wrong, move along leaves and spend most of their time eating and consuming large amounts of chlorophyll. Um, at some point in their lifestyle, uh, they then uh, spin for themselves a silk cocoon and tie themselves to the underside of a leaf. And then, effectively, they die. Uh, they actually dissolve themselves, their flesh, completely except for what are called imaginal discs. If you were to squash a chrysalis, please don't do it, but if you were to, all you would get is caterpillar soup. But if you were to look under a microscope, you would see imaginal discs. I don't know, but I imagine that the imaginal discs have DNA, the deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the genetic code of the caterpillar and the butterfly inside the imaginal discs. Uh, they spend quite a lot of time in their cocoon and then they emerge as something completely different, a butterfly which flies. So something which was crawling along a leaf suddenly is beautiful and flies. And here's a parable for you and for me. Because we have um, DNA, all of us have DNA in our 100 trillion cells, and, our, and this DNA actually is the DNA, our genome, which uh, provides the information for all of our 100 trillion cells. But that DNA uh, was created by God. All computer codes are created. Even the computer codes in our laptops and mobile phones are created by an external intelligence, in this case humans, but our DNA is created by God. Now, somewhere in heaven is stored our original DNA. I want to read for you a scripture now. You're familiar with this scripture from 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51, and it's Paul speaking, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So I purposely chose a caterpillar and a butterfly, two completely different organisms, to illustrate that we ourselves are going to be changed. We too will die, unless of course we're raptured, and um, our bodies will basically disintegrate one way or another. But God has the original DNA. In the case of a caterpillar, the genes are switched off. When he's in the caterpillar form, the genes are switched off um, so that the caterpillar doesn't turn into a butterfly, but in the case of a butterfly, the caterpillar genes are switched off. It may be, I'm purely guessing here, that when we uh, are in our resurrection bodies, when we will be able to fly, by the way, um, from one place to another, maybe God will switch off our human body genes and we will have our resurrection body DNA revealed. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for listening and God bless you.